Hello, this is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I am here today to start another unboxing. Um, yeah, I've been at it again. <laughs> I have my excuses all lined up to justify why I've been spending money again. But I did. So I thought I would share with you what I bought this last Saturday, just gone from Diamond Art Club. Just moving this out of the way so you can't see my details on the side of the box. Right. So the first painting that really grabbed my attention this week in Sneak Peeks was Beach Vacation. So this is the one that I looked at that I thought I really, really like that painting. Um, and I am more inclined to do that painting than some of the other ones in my stash, which means I can sell a painting, get the money to pay for this. That is exactly what I did. I dug out a painting that I figured I'm not actually going to work on this. Sold it on to someone. It was actually a friend who was interested who bought it. And that gave me the money to buy this skill free. However, <laughs> then I was looking at other paintings that were coming out. Um, and I really liked the look of Cosmic Trip as well. Um, so at this stage, I remembered that um, discount code that Diamond Art Club put on their delivery slips recently. Um, if you've purchased from them recently, do check the packing slip in your box because they've been coming out with a buy one, get one 50% off voucher, not voucher, discount code that you can use. Um, and I figured that actually, because I did really like this one too, this was the perfect opportunity. They were both large paintings. They were the same price exactly when they came out. So that's kind of the best use of a buy one, get one 50% off code because it always discounts the cheaper paintings. So if you buy two of the same price, you get the most value you can from it. So I did that, um, which meant that I got both of these for only a small expenditure from my own purse for kind of half half the cost of one of these and the rest was covered by selling that other painting and then <laughs> you may remember on my raised by wolves um unboxing i mentioned that there had been a mystery kit that came out from katrina coltez the week before and some people had been offered the chance to buy it after they had made their purchase and i didn't get offered it and i was a bit sad because i really love her artwork well on Saturday, Diamond Art Club posted, whoops, <laughs> that's the box falling over. Um, Diamond Art Club posted a link to say it was live on the website so I could go buy that. So I had quite a few rewards points saved on my account. So I went and used those to buy this mystery kit. Um, so basically, yes, I have bought three paintings. However, <laughs> The cost to me has been half of the price of a big kit and the postage on this one. So I, I don't feel too bad about that. Hopefully I can stop buying any more for a while though. Hopefully there won't be any limited editions that I really, really want. The other thing that was fun about that is because I was paying postage for this one because I'd claimed the actual painting on my points, I paid for express shipping because that only costs about three pounds more if you're paying for shipping anyway. And then Diamond Art Club has started combining orders. So they all came in one order. I ordered these on Saturday, just gone. It is currently Wednesday and they're here in my house in the United Kingdom, which is bonkers. So really happy with that. Um, and I'm going to take the opportunity to unbox one of them now. I don't know when this video will actually go up. It may be a week or two's time before you see this. Um, but yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> so I think what I will do is unbox these in kind of the order that I decided to purchase them, which means that today I'm going to look at beach vacation and I'm just going to do that one in this video because I want to be able to look at it in detail. So I'll put the others to the side and they are for another day. So let's have a look. Yeah, I can't quite believe <laughs> that I ordered these on Saturday. They were dispatched on Sunday, which was really nice and speedy. And then by yesterday, Tuesday, they were in the country and then they have moved around the other places they need to go in the country to get to me and arrived today. Isn't that mental? I'm see seeing people in the States getting their post today. 
it's mad you can get it quicker to the uk than you can from one part of the states to the other <laughs> it seems like so yeah okay that's enough waffling beach vacation i'm aware that my ring light is casting glare i'm trying to get lighting right at the moment i've noticed sometimes if i don't have a light then the picture looks a little grainy so hopefully i can just work around the glare so this is a square diamond painting and the artist is jeff haney um and it's a, it's a big one actually do you know what it's bigger than i realized i had in my head it was 98 centimeters it's 106 centimeters by 78 centimeters i really thought it was smaller than that that's mad okay so it's much bigger than I realised. That must be... Is that a misprint? I didn't think they could fit a 78 centimetre painting. A uh, width painting in these boxes. Let's find out. I really thought it was 98 by 70. Which is a sort of more standard painting size. We'll find out when we get in. Oh. Can tell it is a big one because it's hard to get out it says 106 by 78 on there again i'm gonna go check what it says on the website yeah i'm not going mad the website says 98 by 70 and i'm sure that's what was on all the sneak peek information so i think this is a misprint but let's just measure this because the boxes, there's like several different length boxes and they go by the length of the shortest side. And I've never seen a painting longer than 70 centimetres on the shortest side before. So I really don't think it's going to be 78 centimetres long. Let's just check. It is! Oh, but that includes the outer bits, doesn't it? Okay, so the entire canvas length. I think maybe they've put the canvas dimensions on here. Um, rather than the picture dimensions, which they don't normally do. Confusing! <laughs> okay, so, anyways, this painting, as I say, came out on Saturday. It is now sold out. It, it was a pretty popular one. So it's sold out on Saturday, but it wasn't limited edition. So if you're interested in this painting, when we take a closer look at it, you can sign up for notifications, and then Diamond Art Club will let you know when it's next in stock which could take anything from a couple of weeks to like six months in my experience. It's normally three to six months. Sometimes I think they've preempted a painting's popularity and got in another order really quickly. We shall see. Okay, I'm just having a super quick look in the toolkit. Not gonna dwell on this because I do look at these quite often, but I always like to see what my cover minder is. <laughs> Oh, they really like these cutesy animal ones at the moment. It's pretty sweet. Got a good mag magnet attached to that. And some nice pretty washi tape there. Okay, let me get those things put away. I'm trying to find the balance between explaining what I'm looking at in case this is the first time you've ever looked at one of these videos and you're not familiar with Diamond Art Club and how they do things. Um, and not just being really boring and saying the same things every time. So if you are new to Diamond Art Club and you would have preferred for me to go over these, um, do check out some of my other unboxings because the toolkits are pretty standard now. Um, and you will see more information in those. Right, let's see if I can get that to do up. No, I can't. You really think I would be better at this by now. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, I'm going to put that to one side and deal with it after. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have a look in my canvas. The reason that I loved this painting when I saw it is that it's a big detailed painting with lots of different bits going on. And the colours are just gorgeous. And I can just imagine really working on it by section and being like the section that has this animal, the section that has this. Anyway, you'll see what I mean. But the colours are beautiful. So let's take a look at those first. Ugh. Try and get the innards to fall out. Okay. Thank you, Leaflet. As with the toolkit, I'm not going to go through this. 
it is a useful um, little leaflet to have, particularly if it's your first time buying from Diamond Art Club or your first diamond painting full stop. So do take a look at that. And now, let's show you a close up of the image. Isn't it gorgeous? I love the colours and I love all the details. There's so much going on in it. I imagine it's going to have a fair amount of confetti, so it'll be a big project, but totally worth it. We've still got the 106 by 78, which just has to be the um, actual canvas size and a misprint from on their part, because normally that's not what they're pointing out. And you'll notice that I have two sticker sheets here because we've got another one with loads and loads of colours. <laughs> this just seems to be the thing at the moment. Loads of paintings coming out with a lot of colours. So this one has 74. We have here a special drill and this is a really exciting one that I'm looking forward to. We'll see in a bit. Um, and then on this page, gosh, look at those colours. Just looking at them here is lovely. Um, we have three ABs. We've got a red, a pink and a green AB. So I will do my best to find those to have a look for you. Wow, gorgeous. We do have some darker colours. We've got 310, um, some other darker colours here like navy and a very dark brown. I don't think there's going to be a lot of those looking at the picture. It's mainly going to be these brighter, more vibrant colours. But there's always bits of shadow and shading, um, little areas like that where you find those darker colours. So, look at those drills. How gorgeous are they? Oh my goodness. This is so pretty already. <laughs> um, and I can see through there my pink AB so I don't know if you can spot them and I've spotted my special drills oh there's the red AB too and what was the other one it was a green right ah there so those are nice and easy to find they must be fairly big bags we must have quite a lot of them okay I'm gonna open this up because I want to get out that special drill to show you Are you ready? <laughs> Quad drills. Look at those. So each of these takes the space of four normal drills. And do you know what? I thought these were going to be green. I'm really interested to see where they go now. I thought they were going to be these lights on here. That was my prediction. So I wonder where they actually go. It does look like they're white on here, so, it, you know, I don't think that that's an error. But, yeah, intriguing. So, yeah, these are only in a Ziploc baggie, so I'm going to get a few out to have a look. So, they're like um, a sort of crystal drill, glass drill. But, as I say, they take the space of four drills. They kind of look even bigger than that, don't they? But I, I'm, I believe that's, that's the space they take on the canvas. How pretty are those going to be? They're like little jewels. Oh, I love them. <laughs> you know me, I'm a geek for anything new and shiny and exciting. So I love when Diamond Art Club spoils us by adding different new drills in. Okay, I'm not going to get loads of drills out here. I just want to say I see a lot of really fat bags <laughs> of very nice bright colours that are going to be fun to work with. Okay, putting my drills aside and we're going to have a look at the canvas. Okay, I'm going to roll it back on itself so we can have a look. It is big whatever the true measurements it's definitely a big one that I'm going to struggle to get in frame so I will show you as best I can and then I will pan over it to show you properly I really want to pick out some of the details in it with you so
tell you what, it definitely looks huge. <laughs> um, okay, so this thing I'm going to do is measure it then. Although I'm fairly sure I know what's going on. So... Yeah, so it's bang on 70 across. Um, this way is going to be a little trickier because of the space I'm working in. Yeah, 98 across that way. So yeah, exactly as I thought. Um, it's just that they have for some reason on this one put the dimensions of the actual canvas on and I guess I never really realized that the canvas adds that much um to the dimensions of the picture that like of course it does it makes sense okay I'm gonna move the camera around a little bit so that you can see a bit more of this beauty but I'm going to be panning over this really shortly. But you can see straight away at a glance where those quadrilles are going to go because you can see the big spaces for them here. And yeah, I was just making assumptions when I thought that they would be these green bits, um, the lights here. So you can see on the actual picture, just about, that we have strings of lights hanging down from this parasol and wrapped around the tree. So that's what those are. So it's it's a string of fairy lights, basically, um, but big because <laughs> the painting's big. I think that is really, really fun as a rendering choice to make those those beautiful big drills because they are so much sparklier than small crystals that they could have used. Right. I think the best thing is if I now pan over this so you can see it in more detail and then we're gonna go over it together. Look for those ABs and just pick out some of the fun details. blown away by this one you may have noticed that down here on the bottom of the canvas we do have the right measurements just to double triple quadruple confirm that okay so um some things to mention about this i think anyone looking at the picture would know straight away if you do not like confetti and detail and changing colors regularly this isn't going to be a painting for you um, of course, we have some sections where, you know, I'm going to be able to get my multi-placer out. We've got some in the water, in the sand. We've got this beautiful coloured sky up here. Um, I just need to pull this plastic cover back, by the way, to get rid of this dimple. It's not going to stick in the canvas if you are looking at that and worried. Um, little bits around here. So there are some sections that will go quicker, but of course it is a very detailed painting. It is bound to have a lot of confetti. Some of the things that absolutely drew my attention. I think the moon looks very pretty in the original picture. And I'm willing to bet they'll have done an excellent job of highlighting that in the rendering. 
I love all the animals. So what have we got? We've got a flamingo, which I don't know if that's real or like a, um, a model one in the picture. We have a cat. All these animals, by the way, they, they're very small in the painting. So they're going to look pixelated when you look at it like this. And of course, with no drills on. It's very much a painting because of the detail where you need to step back from it once it's done to really get the, the effect of the rendering. Things might look a bit blocky and weird up close, but trust the process and they'll look great when they're done. We've got some rubber duckies. Over here we have a puppy, I believe from the original artwork that's just snoozing on this chair. I love the, the fire that's going to really glow in that section, isn't it? Uh, we have a duck, we have a seal, somewhat randomly, we have some flamingos, more flamingos, <laughs> what else have we got? It's funny, I've got the underwear hanging out to dry, um, oh, there's just so many little details that are beautiful, aren't they? Oh, look at this parrot, isn't he fun? I kind of want to go live in this camper van. <laughs> There's another dog in the doorway. Can you imagine, though, actually going on holiday with a camper van like this and setting up all this stuff? It would take a very long time. Um, but I love it. I love all those little details. Uh, uh, yeah, there's always the point where I just sort of stand back and gawp at it and don't know quite what to say, but I'm just really, really, really happy with it. Okay, let's try and track down some of those ABs. So, what codes have we got? One, two, three, which is usual. So, let's have a look, first of all. In red sections, we're likely to have some ones, yep. So, we've got some nice accents in Mr. Parrot there. Some red bits down here. I guess this side is like the sun setting, isn't it? So, there's like light glinting on here, and that explains the use of ABs. Um, a beach ball. Oh, a crab that I missed over here. He's going to glow as well. And a nice sort of ring around the base of the fire. Basically, I think wherever there's red, there's a good chance it's going to be a beast. So just nice little accents through the painting there. Then we have the pink AB, which has code two. Where can we find some of that? We've got some up here. So this is like the top of the camper van. Um, and all these are obviously those fairy lights. So they're giving off light, which makes these areas glint, I guess. What about where there's pink in the sky? Little bits, little bits possibly. And over here, I love these sky colours, by the way. Aren't they going to be gorgeous? Um, what about our flamingos or mingos as I always go to call them because that's what my son used to call them. No, not those, but we do have some in this rubber ring. So I, I would feel, I feel like some of the AB placement is a little bit random, but I bet that it's going to look beautiful. And then number three, the symbol number three. So yeah, we have a nice glowing surfboard there. <laughs> Do we have some in the trees? Yes. So I did um, Island Time a few months ago, which is a Chuck Pinson painting by Dumb Duck Club. And it had ABs peppered through all the trees. And that was so pretty. I'm not sure if we have any over here. No, not so much. I'm, I'm, I bet that there are all sorts of places and I'm just not spotting them. But yeah, there's not big blocks of ABs. They're more peppered through for accents, I would say. Oh, some here around the little puppy too. Yeah, wow, what a beauty. Plenty big enough, even without being 106 centimetres by 78 centimetres, as the box said. <laughs> this one's going to be quite a project. I, I think that this one will probably go away in my cupboard for a bit until I'm ready to embark on that kind of thing. Um, a little bit like House on a Cliff has been Um that I'm sort of nearing the end of and will hopefully have a post -re review of fairly soon on the channel. Um, one that's got lots and lots of details and little sections to work on. So that will be really fun when I'm in the mood for that again. Yeah.
I don't know what else to say other than I'm, I'm really happy with it. As I said, it was a popular painting. It did sell out, um, but it will be back as far as we're aware. It's out of stock. It's not discontinued. So hopefully if this is your sort of thing, you will have a chance to buy it again in the future. All right. Thank you for joining me here today and I will see you again soon. Bye.